So you want to build an app and you don't know how to code, nor do you want to know how to code. This is a great question. I'm answering this question from joincfe.com slash knock. Now, the reason I think this is a great question is because it should start generally having people think about what it means to build an app. It's actually fairly straightforward. It relies on pretty much four concepts. One is create, one is update, one is retrieve or list, and one is delete. Actually, it's C-R-U-D, CRUD. CRUD is the concept. So create, retrieve, update, delete. Now, this concept is within all web applications. And what does it mean? And why is this important? Now, first of all, there's something that handles the creation process, the creation of your data. That one thing, that's CRUD, that stands for C. So there's a page that actually represents that. And then there's a page that represents retrieve, so or list, that gets the data from your database. And then there's another page, which might be very similar to the create page, but another page called update, which actually updates this information. And then finally, a page for deleting or some sort of action for deleting. So all four of those things are very important for building a web application. So once you start thinking about this, then you can move to the next step. Now, let's think about this a little bit more though. How about when a user is registered, registering for your app? What is that user doing? They're creating a new item in your database about their information. That's it. That's a create, like create view. That, that is, that's the create action, right? So once they create it, then that's great. Once they create it, then they can go in. And when we say go in, then we can use their credentials, we can get their credentials, and then compare it against what we have in the back end. So that's a form of retrieve, right? So it's getting this information and then retrieving it from the database, we compare that database, and then we go back, right? And then they can go in. So there, right in the login scene, you have create and login. That's, that is git and create, right? That's it. So we're, we're retrieving and we're creating. Okay, so then once we're in, we see all this data that comes back to us. Like think about Facebook or Twitter. You see that timeline, you're like, oh, what is this? Oh, that's a list that's retrieving, that's getting data from the database, right? And then the next thing is updating and delete. Those things are fairly straightforward. You go to a form and you fill it out. You can update things or you can delete it. Those are pretty much self-explanatory, but most of web applications rely on those two things, create and get. So create or receive, right? So create or retrieve, those are the main concepts that we have here. Okay, so now how do you create your own app? How do you build this app with these concepts in mind. Now you go step by step, every page or frame that your app is going to have, you can draw it out, right? You can, you can hand draw it out and you can scan that or take a picture of it and send it to a designer. That designer, like a, a graphic designer, a user interface designer, because you're drawing out the user interface just roughly, the user, design, the user interface designer can then look at it and create a new stunning graphic for it. And then you get a developer to put those functions and actions in, into place. And those function and actions are create, retrieve, update, delete. Of course, there's more things to it than just that, but you can do every single page by yourself, every page that needed that needs to happen. And then you can discuss the relationship or how each function of these pages actually work. It is very tedious to do it this way, but in many cases, it's very, very good because then it'll help you think through how this app is actually gonna to have to be created. Something else I would encourage you to do is time how long it takes you to do all this. Because however long it takes you to do all that, a developer or designer, whether it's a website or a web application, will have to take that information in, first review it, and then they will have to implement it, which will definitely, definitely take longer than you drawing it out, right? So just think about that when you're building it. But that's the simple step. You understand CRUD, so look it up if this didn't clarify it for you, but there's that concept of create, retrieve, update, delete. Every action on your website usually goes down to those things. If you click on a link, you're trying to retrieve the information from a new URL, so you click on that link, it brings you to a new page, which will probably retrieve information for you, right? 
and if there's a if there's a post or what are you thinking today type of thing there, you can create new information that goes into the database. Okay, so that, that four concepts there, create, retrieve, update, delete. And then the next thing is for every page or every screen that your user is going to use, you can draw that out. Now you don't have to reinvent the wheel here, but you wanna be very clear as to what you're doing because if you're gonna outsource this or, or, or even hire somebody to work with you uh, or partner with somebody to work with you, you need to make sure that they are clear what your vision is so they can give their own inputs as well. Now, the other alternative of course is to learn how to code yourself, but um, that, that could build on top of what you're about to do here. So if you actually go through these steps. Um, thanks so much for the question. Answer your questions at joincfe.com slash knock.